first of all, I had one more title in Eastbourne, which is always nice. It was a very strong tournament, so for me it was great to win there. And I got to the final in Indian Wales, which is also a huge tournament, so uh, that gave me a huge of confidence. And uh, that was really, I think, the first step forward um, to my success in the French Open. Really, really, that I will be able to uh, go deep even in the toughest tournaments when everyone is playing. And um, obviously this year in the French Open it works absolutely perfectly for me and uh, you know I'll be able to do that well in my home Grand Slam with my whole crowd supporting me and cheering for me was definitely extremely nice and then the, the Wimbledon win over Serena was also extremely special. What do you think made the difference this year as opposed to last year? Well, I think I'm stronger, I'm fitter, um, I can last for a lot longer on the court, so uh, my stamina really got better and uh, I'm able to sustain a, a high level for a longer period. And uh, It's not only showing on one match, but it's showing on repeating day after day the same performance, and a strong performance. And, and before that I was able to play well one day, but then the next day it was hard for me to go back on the court and repeat that. Especially when I was having a hard match the day before, the next day I was really tired. So I was really losing more because of the tiredness at my open. And uh, I felt like this year when I was losing so much, it was more because my open was better than me on that day, than me really falling apart because I was just tired. Is your fitness something that you work on? I always work extremely hard on my fitness, but I think you know, everyone has an age where they feel they are at the peak of their form. And I think right now it's this time for me. And uh, it's not like I've changed something, it's more that, you know, all this hard work starts to really pay off. And uh, everyone gets a peak at one point of their career where they feel they are the strongest, fitters, and faster they had never been. And I think that's, that's the case for me. Do you feel the same about your game? Yes, well, I had a great start of the summer, it's 10 4 obviously, then I get a, a hand injury in the final against Serena and it kind of stopped me there, but um, you know, it happens, uh, you have to deal with those uh, small injuries. Um, I was playing a lot of matches, so it's normal at one point, my body starts to show a bit of, uh, of tiredness, so um, I just have to deal with that. And, uh, and be strong at the Open, you know, the last two years I've been losing in the second round of the Open, which was most of last year really disappointing. The year before I lost to Kim and she went to win the title, so I was not really disappointed, but I was just more bad draw and bad luck. But last year I really lost the match that I should have won, so uh, my focus for this summer was really the US Open, and uh, I really want to do well with her. Is your hand better now? I see you still have signs. Yeah, well, this is normal, this is the normal tap I'm using, but I had some problem in the fall of my hand, which is unusual, but now it's getting better. Yes. Can you talk about your decision to take a wild card here and what you're looking to achieve? <laughs> yes, well, as I told you, my end injury really stopped me throughout during the summer. So uh, I had less matches than I was expected to have. and. Um, I think especially because the last three years it beat so well for me at the Open, I really need those extra matches. And if you look at my great results in the, either the French Open or Wimbledon, I played well the week before. I won Eastbourne or I went to the final in Strasbourg. So it's important for me the week before Grand Slam to have this kind of uh, confidence to go toward a Grand Slam. And uh, if I was able to go deeper in Toronto and Cincinnati, that I would need to take this week of, of off to get some rest and because I lost early and I need some extra matches. You've got a little bit of a tough draw here with Hantakova who has been new, um, has a, a winning head to head against you. Um, I'm not playing against her anymore. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> she pulled out yesterday. She pulled out. Yeah. The draw was not that big. So right now your your ranking is number nine, which is matches your career high. Is that something you put a lot of focus on, or do you just kind of let that happen and focus more on winning matches? 
Uh, well, to be honest, a bit of both. Um, my race ranking, which is a year-to-date ranking, is even higher. I'm six, so which means I play extremely well since the beginning of the year, and I don't have much point to defend from last year until the end of this year. So I can go even higher on my ranking. But my really huge goal is to go to the year and championship in Istanbul, and I'm going to try everything to just go there. So um, I know the competition is extremely tough. There is only eight players who are able to achieve that, so it's. it's uh, the elite, but uh, if I can make it, that will be definitely extremely special. Marianne, um, comparing the US Open to the three other slams, how difficult is it to make? Um, I think it's tougher because obviously the last one, so everyone starts to get a bit tired. You know, you have been uh, going from every part of the world. You have, we have all played a lot of tournaments, a lot of matches, and. Uh, the whole summer swing is pretty hard on your body, you know, it can be extremely hot, humid, uh, it's some difficult conditions, so everyone, I feel, arrived there a bit tired, and, uh, and of course being in New York, it's an extremely nice city, but it's extremely busy as well, so it can really be draining, and uh, you really have to try to get some rest on your day off, so you arrive with a bit of energy when you play your matches. Radio.